We first meet Luna in the fifth film uh, when she's on the, the carriage going to the school. You're not going mad. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Ivana brings such a strong uh, sort of colour to the film. And she's so you know, brilliantly eccentric as Luna Lovegood. Hello, everyone. She is a glorious spirit. She is Luna, very comfortable with who she is, self-possessed um, in a good sense, um, but very much inhabits her own world. Hello, Harry Potter. Your feet are made cool. A bit. Unfortunately, all my shoes have mysteriously disappeared. Personally, I suspect the behind me. She was very impressive during her audition tape. Just if it was, listen, if you don't, if you don't cast me, that's okay. But you know, you'll have made a big mistake because I am Luna. My mom always said the things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. If not always in the way we expect. The story of her casting is a beautiful and amazing thing. So we did this casting call. I wasn't that, but uh, I saw the tape, and Ivana was one of those, and she came in, and immediately you knew that she was special. This will tell. Good thinking. It's usually infested with nargles. Right. I always wanted to be Luna. I loved her. I love Luna. She's so, she's so cool. She's so honest. But everyone and to herself as well she doesn't like um you know fake anything H how do i look exceptionally ordinary brilliant she's so in touch with her spirit that she's not really affected by other people the way most teenagers are luna's always herself and she's so comfortable with that i sleepwalk you see that's why i wear shoes to bed <laughs> 